The Monerotopia guest segment is sponsored by Cake Wallet. Store, send, receive, and exchange your Monero and Bitcoin safely on iOS and Android too. Cake Wallet is open source and you always control your own keys. All right. What's going on, fellas? Hi, hi. Hi, bro. Alessandro, how's it going, man? How you doing? We've we've almost made it to the finish line of Copa Monero. It's 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 been yes. a freaking marathon, I know, especially for you. Andres, man, thanks for jumping on and uh, being the interpreter. Hello. Um, what's going on, Alessandro? Wait, wait, wait. Tell us. Tell us. Get the people excited about Copa Monero. Let me let me bring up the screen, actually. Andres? Te pidió que, te, no, que le contaras sobre Copa Monero. Ahora, ¿qué onda? Bueno, eh, lo que tenemos para Copa Monero esta semana que entra, la semana siguiente, el 13 de octubre, tenemos las semifinales que se van a jugar en el Estadio de Libertad, obviamente, entre Guaraní y Vélez Arfiel, Guaraní que es el equipo de Firo, eh, contra Vélez que es el equipo de Pirate Chain. Después tenemos la siguiente para, semifinal. Para, para, que ¿Esta es, semana? No, la próxima. Dentro de el 13 semanas. de octubre. Sí. Uh -huh. Y el próximo juego es Libertad, el equipo auspiciado por Cake, por Cake Wallet, el main sponsor de Monero Topia, contra Unión, que es el equipo de Dougie Zunita de la Monero Topia Conference. <coughs> okay. Eso por un lado. Um, ok, uh, next week. We have in Copa Monero the semifinals. And the semifinals are between Guarani and Vélez first and Sunday the 13th of mm -hmm. October. Which is which is Fiero and Pirate Chain, right? Which is Fiero against Pirate Chain. Mm -hmm. Yes. Guarani mm -hmm. versus, uh, against Vélez. And th that's, that's the battle of the alt altcoins. Yes. <laughs> and... Uh, And um, the other semifinals sí, are between, sí. between Libertad and Union, which is a, a very difficult match because it's Cake Wallet versus Monero Topia. Oh, who do we yeah, root for on that one? As many conflicts of, of interest as you can possibly <laughs> put on one match. Um, I don't know who you root for, for example. I mean, it's... It's it's amazing that, that Libertad might be the ones that go to the finals here, right? That's pretty uh, apropos. Um, yeah. They they are the original Monero the, team, the OG, right? The OG Monero. They are team, the OG. Yes. They are the original uh, team that that's that that brought crypto to to uh, to Formosa. So mm -hmm. would would be beautiful to see. So I don't know. As much as obviously I'm a Monero Topia fan, I might I might be rooting for Libertad. And King mm -hmm. Wild because they are the main stage sponsor of uh, Monerotopia. So, estuvo, estuvo um, bailando Unión, así que... Cachaste, que estamos fascinados cachaste, por Unión. Sí. ¿Eh? Sí, sí, sí. ¿Entendiste? Ok. No. Uh, ah, what, what is, no, no. Decía, decía, decía que, bueno, que hay un poquito de conflicto de intereses entre el partido de semifinal, porque es Libertad con Cake contra ellos, que son Monerotopia, quien quería que ganaran. Y la, estaba como diciendo, bueno, que a pesar de que ellos están jugando con su equipo... Libertad es como el equipo original de Monero, eh, así que si termina siguiendo, siguiendo adelante Libertad está todo bien, a pesar sí, de que pierda eh, Monero Topio. Aquí muchos están esperando una final entre Firo y Cake, eh, más, más decir Guaraní contra Libertad porque es el clásico más antiguo de la, de la localidad. The oldest, the oldest classic match, the confrontation in the town, uh, which everybody is waiting for, is Libertad I'm against Guaraní. I'm sorry, go ahead. I just I put eh, the, repeat vamos, what you said. No, 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 no. Most people, most people in Ibarreta, in the town, are waiting for a final between between Guarani and Libertad. Uh, I mean, it's going to be Firo against Cake uh, because that's the old, the oldest rivalry. The classic oh. match will be Guarani against Libertad. So, okay, but it's kind of rooting for for that to be the final. That's fantastic. Vamos. Vamos por parte porque hay mucho que comentar acá respecto a lo que, a lo que va a venir en semifinales y también en la final. Eh, 
First, ¿Por a qué? Lot to pack for, so, so, give me... Vale, vamos a ir frenando de a poquito. Sí, así tiro sí, todas sí, las sí. cosas. Uh, this and lot to unpack uh, for the finals and semifinals, so we are going to go through all the, all the things that Alessandro is going to tell us. All right, yeah, tell, tell us, tell us. Vamos a compartir la pantalla. Eh, ¿Qué tenemos de eh, primera mano? Tenemos los juegos de en Sigma Nero. Vamos a tener. For people sí, kind of tuning in mandado, for the, that, that are like catching word on this for the first, we have 184 live viewers, guys, like and share. For people who are just catching the first word on this, there's something called Copa Monero that uh, we're, we're in the, how, how many games did we have? We had, I think, 12. Did we ¿Cuánto have 12 juegos? ¿Cuánto partido, no, there's 12 vale. teams. I think it's like four, 15 games total with the finals. Uh, in this, in this small town, in the, in the pro uh, Formosa province of Argentina, there's a small town called Iberete, where Monero has organically kind of uh, taken root, and there uh, it was among actually young gentlemen like Alessandro that were using it for for gambling on soccer originally, and from that it grew into being used among Alessandro and his friends and uh, the soccer players. Alessandro is very involved in in soccer or football where he's from. He's he's in charge of his local football club. And out of that grew this idea of Copa Monero. When I went to Monero Town and visited Alessandro, we came up with this idea to put together an event called Copa Monero, where we'd have a bunch of local teams uh, playing and competing to win a Monero prize. And Alessandro, uh, he's been, you know, we've been giving him funding, we've been giving him support. But other than that, he's been doing this on his own, obviously with help from people in his community. And he's managed to put on a legitimate football tournament. Obviously, this isn't, isn't the FIFA World Cup, but he's he's managed to to put on these games. Um, he's streaming them. They look beautiful now. We've worked out the tweaks. And we have these teams that are uh, passionately competing to win a Monero prize. Everybody there knows about Monero now. They're, they're excited for the prospect of potentially winning Monero, especially knowing that they can turn around and use it in, in, their, in that town. Uh, so it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful event. And we're coming to a close. And we've coordinated it in such a way that the finals will take place next weekend. And then, I mean, the semifinals, and then the actual final game will take place during the Monero Topia conference, and we'll have it broadcast live, and we could all watch the finals. And so, I, ju I just want to catch everybody up, bring everybody up to speed on what's going on. But Alessandro, take it away. Dale, dale. Contó un resumen de más o menos de qué se trata todo okay. Monero Topia. Dale. Eh, primero que nada, vamos. No sé si lo están viendo en la pantalla lo que compartí. Ahí. Tenemos el mercado de, de apuestas para las semifinales en Sigma Nero, el sistema de apuestas peer-to-peer, donde first of, first tenemos... Of all, we have like the live peer-to-peer uh, -peer gambling site at Sigma Nero. Eh, tenemos las cuotas, van a salir 24 horas antes a la vista del público, tanto para la gente de Firo como para la gente de Pirate Chain, que pueden usar a través de trocador usando sus monedas nativas y pasarlas a Monero, eh, y lo mismo para el siguiente partido que es de Libertad Unión. Tenemos que tener en cuenta que if los have, candidatos I'm aquí... Sí. If you have, if you have either Fire or um, Pirate Chain and you want to support your team or, or bet, on the, bet on the match, you can use Trocador to switch it to, to change it to Monero and use it for the bets. <laughs> Eh, las cuotas van a ser los candidatos aquí obviamente ya eh, básicamente se lo puedo decir son Vélez Arfiel en la semifinal de ida y Libertad en la segunda semifinal son los candidatos según las apuestas porque es según el orden en el cual se inició el torneo de candidatos en base al torneo anterior así que para que tengan en cuenta eso los fanáticos de Guaraní, de, de Firo, de Pirate Chain y de Monero Topia también algún que otro fan más de de unión del equipo unión. Okay, basically that you can you can bet on either either team for the match, and so even if you are a fan of of Guarani or Vélez or whatever, 
uh, or even just Monero, uh, Copa Monero, or Monero Topia in general, you can bet on those those pairs, those quotes. Recordemos who, 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 recordemos who's the favorite here? Who does Alessandro? What does Alessandro think? Who, who's who's, who's going to win? Vale. Who's going to win Copa ¿Quién Monero? Who's going to win Copa Monero? En, el, en la primera semifinal, Vélez, y en la segunda semifinal, Libertad está delante en las apuestas. The, the, the favorites are Vélez for the first match and Libertad for the second one. All right. Así que preferido es Vélez eh, y no Guaraní. Está, está, pelea, está, está complicada que se haga la final dorada. Está complicado, pero en el fútbol todo es posible. Es dinámica de lo impensado. Eh, Así es el fútbol, viejo. Bueno. What is what can he? What is like the the excitement on the ground there in in his town and in uh you know among these other towns that are playing? Are people excited about Copa Monero that it's you know we're, we're, we're ¿Cómo, coming ¿cómo to an end here? ¿Cómo están en los otros pueblos y eso con la Copa Monero? Están 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 entusiasmados, están excitados con los partidos, lo siguen. Tenés comentarios sí, de la sí, gente, sí. vienen a los partidos. Hay comentarios, hay mucho más actividad en el Instagram respecto a los a los a la gente de los otros ciudades, localidades. Por darte un ejemplo, eh, a lot more activity on Instagram from people from other uh, towns nearby. For example, el equipo Unión, el equipo Unión de Monero Topia mm -hmm. está compuesto por en su en un 80% con jugadores de otro, otras localidades, de otros pueblos. The Union team, the team Union, the club Union, uh, is made up of 80% of players from other towns, actually, not from, no, no Ibarreta, this is. No, no Ibarreta. Not from, eh, okay. Por, ejem por ejemplo, no sé si estuvieron viendo en, el, en la cuenta de Twitter de Copa Monero, estuvimos publicando un entrenamiento de Guaraní, que es el equipo de Firo, eh, y de Unión no puedo ir a... No pude ir a, 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 uh -huh. a grabar los entrenamientos para que la comunidad de Monero Topia pueda verlo porque no entrenan aquí en Ibarreta. ¿En el Twitter de Copa Monero? En el Twitter de Copa Monero, sí. On the Twitter account, on the ex account of uh, Copa Monero, they, they've been showing some, some of the trainings for the matches. Uh, there was one oh, shit. Show. I haven't yes. even seen that. Yeah, bring it up. Yeah. Go ahead, bring it up. Eso que I'm, just, I'm just showing people a match. This was just Trocador versus. I'm just bringing ah. it up so people can see what's okay. going on. So this is, you know, this is the stadium where the, all the matches take place. This is uh, at Club Libertards. This is their this is their stadium, which has become the Copa Monero Stadium. They, I think, have done a, a great job at filming, streaming, and the announcing. The announcer is actually fantastic. I don't understand, <laughs> obviously, 98% of the things he's saying other than the goal, but he, he's really, he's, he, he's going nonstop. It's, it sounds uh, very fluid and poetic when, he, when he's speaking from my point of view. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Andres, have you listened in? Is, he, is, this, guy, is this guy a good announcer? It sound, he sounds fantastic. Yeah, it sounds like a like a <laughs> professional. But he sounds no, he is a professional football yes announcer. He's like so really, it's really. It's like fifty percent of the experience. It's just it's just that. Yeah, yeah. Bueno, so for those that, respecto... that uh... I don't know if he's doing as much as a good job as as our friend, our our Greek friend. Oh but... yeah, yeah. You well, you got you guys were <laughs> were, were having an amazing night that night. He was unfortunately... really really good. Cool. Unfortunately, yes. the quality of the broadcast wasn't yes. that great, but yeah. <laughs> being respecto, in the same room with you guys was fantastic. Respecto a eso, eh, se van a encontrar, obviamente, esta semana estaremos yeah. subiendo eh, los entrenamientos de, 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 del equipo de Pirate Chain de Vélez, de Libertad, okay, obviamente, de Cake. Upload the Pirate Chain team trainings. Oh, cool. Y, y también ya que I, estamos... Does he have a training video to play? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Ale, ¿tenés eh, algún entrenamiento para mostrar de esos de los videos? El de Firo, el de Firo está subido. El de Firo está subido en Twitter, pero no lo tengo abierto acá en, esta, en este ordenador. No tengo abierto la cuenta. Pero búscala, búscala rápido, dale. <ríe> ah, creo que Duke puede ponerla allí. Ellos lo pueden poner en la pantalla. No, Sunita no sé si está... He What doesn't happened? have the he doesn't have the screen right the now. He asks you if you can or tax if you can search for the fire training fire training on the Copa Monero Twitter account. Okay, let me see if I can. Eh, para bueno, mientras lo buscan eso, eh, vamos a ir coment quiero ir comentándoles 
que se van a encontrar en las semifinales dentro de lo que va a ser la, el día 3 en la transmisión. This is what you're going to find on the transmission on the live broadcast of the semifinals next week. Como saben, estamos eh, trabajando ya con, con más cámaras ampliando dentro de todo lo que es la, eh, el estadio y el, la fecha anterior no pudimos mostrar lo que había que era una cantina puesta por uno de los clubes participantes donde todos los jugadores y jugadoras también del club femenino, del Cubo Club, eh, están aceptando cripto. No lo pudimos mostrar, pero esta semifinal sí vamos a estar en vivo, haciendo pagos en Monero, en, pero más, más que nada en Monero, obviamente, para no, no buscar otra, otra cripto dentro de Cake. Pero... Two, two updates for this next uh, semifinals is that uh, plus, uh, on one side they have more cameras now. Uh, ¿Cuántas cámaras tenés ahora? Tres, cuatro va a haber, así que vamos a estar, yeah, vamos a estar cambiando uh, mucho. They, Yes, they're going to do the live broadcast with three or four cameras now. So oh, you, you wow. can see all the action way better. And the other thing that they could not show last time, but it was already um, open, but they're going to show it live um, next week, is um, members for, from two teams open up uh, like a canteen. Uh, ¿Qué es? ¿Como una, un restaurancito? Un... Eh, eh, sí, un... un puesti... puesto de comida. Un puesto de ventas de, de, de refrigerio, de comida, de yeah, like a food stall, food stall, uh, food, a little food shop next to the, next to the, the football field. Uh... Para ser más directos en el entretiempo se van a encontrar eh, a mí y a otros chicos haciendo entrevistas y pagando helados en Monero y ellos van a estar repartiendo a, lo, a, lo, a la gente en la tribuna. So there's a Monero accepting concession yes, stand. Exactly. Oh my exactly. god, that's amazing. They have, they're selling that's ice amazing. creams and snacks and beverages and of course you have to pay Monero. Um, so, so they're gonna on the... Um, on the uh, half time on half time they're gonna show live how they purchase stuff for consumption on the on the on the stadium that is Monero. fantastic i love that monero topia will all be able to watch it live on the big screen obviously it'd be amazing if we were there but guys easier yeah. said than done getting getting a large group of people into formosa into you know obviously we did consider it for a moment but i don't think we're there yet maybe maybe in the future we could all all make a group trip there and do a Monero Topia in, in the town at Iberate. But uh, this year we'll have to uh, we'll have to tune in remotely. And, yeah, uh, it's, on, it's... on the upside, the Mexicans can totally understand the the, the audio from the match. Oh yeah, exactly. All the locals will be able to understand the match. Yes. It's it is it is going to align very nicely. I should mention I that want, too. Now I don't we... want to make it too spicy, but they will have the opportunity to, to enjoy some good soccer. While in the meantime, 100%. No, bueno, 100%. Bueno, eh, some Mexican soccer, but let, let me bring up this. Um, I did find Duke. a training video here if he wants to show it. Go Duke, ahead, Duke. Yes, eh, bien. Eso para la semifinal, obviamente, vamos a tener eso como nueva novedad. Luego, ah, el entrenamiento, pero vamos a verlo primero. Let's, let's, let's see the fire road training. Salta el copyright ahí de la canción. <risa> Pero... Es muy, es modo muy, muy monero el video también porque es en la oscuridad. Y... <risa> are, 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 these, are these guys excited about like winning? What happened? Said, What happened? Es said, muy privacy. Yes, very privacy. He said, he said that the whole training was, was done in a very monero fashion because it's so dark that you cannot see. No, nobody can be identified. Who's, yes. Look at this. Cannot, they're sending Monero in, transactions as they're training over here. They're literally training. Them. Them. The no, those are Pyro transactions. Pyro. Yeah, this is Firo. Really? Uh, okay. Firo, yes. Firo Amazing. ¿Por qué entrenan de noche los chicos? Por el calor. 38, They train by grados. night because of the heat. It's too hot okay. during the day. Yeah. All right. Understandable. Understandable. No, you do understand. You've been there. Yeah, I know, I know. <risa> eh, bueno, eso también que vamos a tener en cuenta que para las semifinales vamos a jugar con una temperatura de 38, 39 grados, así que va a ser una... The, the ¿Next week? ¿La semana que viene? 
Yeah, see, see, oh, see, see. oh, for next week, they are expecting temperatures for the semifinals matches of up to 38 degrees Celsius. Holy of course, the only, shit. the only, the only sales, the only scale that I can, that I can do. How much are them? Yeah. In your, in your fake, in your fake temperature scales. Para la final, uh, bueno, la que estamos Hot en la página self. web. That's like, I don't know. What, would you say 38 Celsius? 38, yes. Yeah, that's like 100, you know, over 100 degrees, I think, right? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, somebody somebody quickly do, do the math on that one. A uh, hundred, yes. It's 100. like times nine fifths plus 32 or something. A hundred. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hot. That's hot. That's hot. And it's, and, hot. And, and it's muggy too. It's like, I'm it's very uh, humid. It's yes. like you're in the jungle. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it is freaking. Basically, basically, take this into account. Your body should be at 30, 36, right? right? 36 C to function properly. This is two degrees above your, your core expected temperature, right? <laughs> so just by standing, your body starts to sweat so you can lower uh, your temperature just by standing imagine playing soccer oh yeah and no, it's, it's there is so much incredible. humidity in the air that your sweat doesn't evaporate so no probably you're gonna see people dying on the field just, <laughs> don't, just, don't just say that to tune in <laughs> People just tune in. You want some drama? Tune in because you're going to just Dude, do drop not do not say players. that. God forbid. Yeah, yeah, we young, young have guys. Swap ass. Yes. Every team has like forty players, just in case. So they keep <laughs> replacing them. Which team has the most players? They have the highest probability of winning because they'll, they'll only only <laughs> one. Estamos hablando de que probablemente cada equipo tenga como 40 jugadores por si se van cayendo muertos por la temperatura, los van reemplazando. No, hice, hice un cambio, un cambio de regla que excede a la FIFA, que es las ventanas de los cambios, que acá están eliminadas las ventanas de cambio. Se pueden uh -huh. hacer hasta cinco cambios, pero sin ventanas. Normalmente eh, se utilizan tres ventanas en reglamento formal y yo decidí sacarlo eso porque por ahí los clubes tienen jugadores que se desgastan muy rápido físicamente sí. y por la temperatura. Es más, vieron en, las, en los part últimos partidos. These guys, these guys are playing the hearts out too. Even if it was freaking, you know, 60 degrees, let alone 100 degrees. These guys, they go freaking, they go hard. I mean, you watch these games. I'm watching some of like the injuries that they're having. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. They're really was, playing Alessandro, hard. Alessandro was telling, was just telling us that he made some modifications to the official FIFA rules for when... Uh, when they are dealing with uh, how many changes of players that you can do during the match, mm. uh, just because of that, because they they run into a lot of heat and the the the, the players really wear off, so they lift the 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 window of changes that you can do basically. So you can. Bueno, lo que estuvieron. I just que estuvieron... I, I just feel bad. I think we we missed some super chats here. Ho Jose tip fifty cents uh, about the betting site. Can I close the browser after I put my bet, or do I need to keep the browser open all the time? Ale, I don't know. If, uh... eh, te preguntan si después de que hagan la apuesta en Sin Manero pueden cerrar la ventana del navegador o tienen que tener eh, la ventana abierta todo el tiempo. Eh, bueno, eso era. Eh antes de que tenga la actualización. Yo creo que eso se cambió ahora y que sí pueden cerrarla. Eh, pero lo estaremos confirmando mañana, mañana mismo en Sigmanero, lo estará publicando el administrador. Creo que es algo que se cambió con las nuevas actualizaciones porque estuvo frenado un mes Sigmanero. Uh -huh. Pero creo que it's sí be, se podrá it's cerrar. Supposed to be updated now. It's been, they've been working on that for a month now. Uh, he's not sure. It's supposed to be working okay. like that now that you can close the the, the browser window on your, your best state on, but they will um, make an announcement tomorrow on the official Sigmanero account to 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 make to be, to be clear about how it works. But supposed okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, update, guys, post post some bets for fun. Yeah, uh, and Belinda Look. tipped uh, two dollars. Hola, Alessandro. Te, te amo mucho. Alessandro's got a big thank fan you. out thank here. You. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> Belinda. Thank you. Thank uh, you. I love you. We, we we have we have another one here. Uh, what, what what is this one, guys? You're gonna have to read this one. What's going on here? Argentina, it says, Argentina is a beautiful country. 
And it's wonderful that so that some people are using Monero. Yeah. Vamos a acelerar porque tengo tengo un par de cosas más que contar. Eh, He has more todo lo que to tell. To, so let's speed todo, lo que, tell, tell. todo lo que ya eh, le conté qué va a pasar en las semifinales, con qué nos vamos a encontrar en la transmisión, uso real de Monero en, en tiempo real en vivo, eh, los partidos, lo que va a ser, van a ver mucho más mejorada nuevamente la calidad de transmisión ya. Te hicimos caso, Andrés, vamos con Starling para las semis. Eh, después también tenemos, luego de for, las for semifinales... The now they are using, they're going to use Starling from now on. So expect a better quality and a better uptime of the stream. Luego, ya vieron en el partido de Huracán con Libertad en, lo, en la última jornada de Copa Monero, la cantidad de público que había que era bastante importante... Se mostraban las dos tribunas. Wait, I'm sorry, cambios. I missed the, la the last point. What you, you're saying, he's uh, better, more reliable internet? Is that, is that what you said? Yes, because they, they got Starlink now. So they are oh, they do? Yes, so okay. I, pressed, I pressed hard for that to change. Entonces. <laughs> so they are not relying on, on local infrastructure, basically, for the internet connection. So this Fantastic. seems to be higher quality and, and more steady. And uh, they're also going to have the last time, last match. If, if people tune in, you can already see that there were way more people than before on the matches, like public. Um, mm. They're expecting a even bigger public now. So they're going to show the... The, the I don't. I don't want. I don't want to throw a monkey. I don't want to throw a monkey wrench in here. But if they have Starlink now. Would Alessandro be open to moving back to using StreamYard? Because then we could. Uh, you know, have people come into the chat. We could use uh, the XMR chat so people could send super chats. Or is that uh, is that going to throw things off? Ale, lo que te pregunto es si ahora que usas Starlink y tienes una mejor conexión, vas a poder pasar a StreamYard para hacer la transmisión, o eh, así la gente puede comentar en vivo, tirar los super chats, o, te, o eso básicamente rompe mucho las pelotas. Cambiarlo. <laughs> <laughs> eh... Vamos a probarlo, vamos, vamos a ir con mi... Pasa que vamos yendo poco a poco con mi... El, mi, mi ¿Cómo se dice? Mi técnico en transmisión mm -hmm. que, que estamos... Porque habría muchas personas que querrían enviar un super chat. Con, con, con Fabricio they're gonna, they're gonna Montiel. Van a hacer algunos test. Vamos a tratar de hacerlo posible. Van a hacer algo 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 posible. Mm -hmm. For the Así final, que... uh, for sure. Eh, Let's see if we can make it for next week oh. as well. Uh, Andrés, uh, Doug, uh, stop, stop. Uh, para la semifinal eso, posterior a la semifinal, días posteriores, haremos un programa nocturno, eh, probablemente entre el 27 y el 29 de octubre, un Copa Monero Night Show, donde... Estaremos reviviendo todo lo que fueron los primeros juegos, hablando con todos los con todos los jugadores, un jugador de cada club, donde por ejemplo este jugador de Guaraní que vimos usando Firo, eh, el muchacho de Sano, eh, de Huracán, que estuvo también mostrando su gual en su momento antes que quede eliminado, contando, el otro día estuvo usando trocador y me dijo, eh, funciona bien trocador cambiando Sano por UCDT, me dijo. <ríe> Así que Estaré entrevistando a los jugadores, estarán comentando su experiencia con Copa Monero y su experiencia con las monedas, eh, bueno, en este caso Sano y Firo, estarán comentando cómo, cómo les fue. También hablaremos con eh, usuarios de Ibarreta que ya tienen sus servicios en XM Rebasar, como por ejemplo editores de logos, eh, y con mis barberos, que también son... Incluso con el barbero que le cortó el pelo a Duke, él, él jugó en Luis Cristaldo, en el equipo de Basic Swap, y Ay, estará... Y... ¿Te perdiste? No, no, está bien. Te re perdiste. Y es, eh, a, la, es eh, en, a la noche en horario argentino, básicamente. Horario argentino, sí. Pero estará Duke, también Duke estará presente, y vos es... también, seguramente. Sí, sí. Dígame, dígame. Tell me. Um, ok, translation incoming. Wait, this is like the when they translate Japanese that the, the guys like speaks for an hour and then I said <laughs> something very short. <laughs> ah, para, para, para. Y también says, vamos a presentar la copa en vivo. He says he likes the show. <laughs> 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 
no, not only uh, you translator, you are summarizer, oh. which which goes okay, a long okay, way. Okay, on this okay, okay. No, no, no. I took no. I took no <laughs> for this one. Um, <laughs> we know <laughs> we Argentinians like speak a lot. Okay. Uh, y, um, there's gonna be after the finals, but after the semifinals, but before the finals, um, there's gonna be a late night show for Copa really? Monero. Okay. Probably, well, vamos a presentar uh, la copa primeramente, la copa. They're going to introduce like, presenta, present yeah. physically the, the cup it's, itself, right? They will show them, uh, show the, the cup itself. It's going to be on the 27th or 29th, around those dates. And it's in nighttime Argentina. So basically nighttime um, New York. Hay una hora, right. una after hora after the finals, after the finals. No, el primer, antes de la final, ¿no? Después de la semifinal y antes oh. de la final. Después de la semifinal y okay. antes de la final. Yes, before the finals, wow. in between the semifinals and before the finals, so to get like things heated, um, okay. we're gonna interview um, players from the Fido and from the um, Pirate Chain. Amazing. Uh, no, uh, eh, Sano, Sano. Ah, Sano, from the Fido and the Sano teams. The Huracan uh, Sano team. Yes, Huracan and the other one. Um, and they are gonna interview them about the matches, but also about their experiences with both Sano and Fairo. Um, one of the... ¿Cuál es el que, us el que usó Tocador? Es eh, de Sarmiento, jugador de Sarmiento okay. Club. One of y the, también el de Huracán también. Yeah, the, the, the players of the both, both teams have some experiences exchanging Sano and Fairo using Tocador for USDT, which is basically the gold standard here. And... Um, And also, uh, I, I don't kind of understand my own notes. Uh, ¿Qué más sale era? El que iban a contar su experiencia de participación en Copa Monero, cómo, cómo vivieron los partidos. También entrenadores, entrevistaré a entrenador de Libertad, al capitán de Libertad. Both coaches, Todo eso. the players, all going to be interviewed. Eh, y después Perfect. vamos a ir ya mostrando a todos los, entrevistando a los usuarios de Ibarreta ah, ya me que, ofrecen, que ofrecen servicios y demás en, ahí en Copa Monero Night Show, donde uh -huh. están comentando su listado en XM Rebasar. Sí. Yeah, and the, and servicios que pueden venderse have, al exterior, obviamente. Sí, sí, sí. Y van a tener más entrevistas en the Copa Monero Late show, Night Show, um, which are with um local with local owners of shops or, or services just like the barber that cut your hair that mm -hmm. in Ibarreta which is also a player of one of the teams um I don't remember which one um, and th these businesses have been listed uh, a lot of them on XMR Bazaar yes, by the way too which is, which is amazing. all of them had their business listed listed on XMR Bazaar and uh, some of them uh, can all also be purchased from abroad so if there's something you want deliver from Ibarreta to your far away town of Minsk or something uh, you can do it um, get some honey some services low designs stuff like that uh, so yeah I, now we are seeing that's where okay. Ibarreta in is there he is <laughs> like that's in the, where Ibarreta in the middle of the Uh, tremendous continent in the middle of it. Don't think it's very close to Buenos Aires, so you will be surprised. There's a Monero hospital. Look, we got things popping up elsewhere yeah. too. Oh dear, we have some. Wait, what? Yeah, the El supermercado de Ibarreta. Yeah. El supermercado. supermercado de Ibarreta, incluso. Yeah. But here we go. Creo yeah. Que, creo que trataré de coincidir que sea el día de la madre para que venga Max desde la plata y nos hable un poco también del supermercado en la plata. Ah, okay. Esto, que no los fuiste a visitar todavía. She He's gonna try to. <laughs> bueno, hey, stop, stop, stop. Well, Pablito, Pablo, wait, no, 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 no. Déjame, déjame contarlo, dale. He's gonna try well. for for the um, for Maxi, who is the who is the guy from the from the supermarket Super in La Plata. Um, he's gonna try for 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 the late the the Monero Copa late night show to be uh, to to be at the same days of the Mother's Day here. So okay. he travels back to Ibarreta and he can tell his experiences as a septim monero uh, outside eh, of Ibarreta. Uh, La Plata City is very near to Buenos Aires City, the capital. 
way more people living in La Plata and Buenos Aires than millions of people. It, no. Here's the hotel in in Iberete. That's where I stayed, and I've obviously Pablo. paid with Monero. Duke, Pablito, el peluquero que recién de barbers, de barber shop, eh, él fue jugador de Luis Cristal del equipo de Basic Swap, y él sí tiene mucho para contar, por ejemplo, porque él estudia aquí en Ibarreta y juega en uno de los equipos que participó en Copa Monero pero también empezó a trabajar en su localidad. Así que tenemos mucho para contar y es algo que yo no muestro, incluso porque no, no es que no tenga tiempo, sino que no me da para estar mostrando esto, mostrando lo otro. Y mejor que lo cuenten los chicos mismos con su experiencia sobre cómo van ampliando eh, esta red, de, uh -huh. no solamente en Ibarreta, sino en pueblos aledaños de del uso de cripto en general, ya no solo Monero, porque o le van agarrando no, la mano. Él a... no vive en Ibarreta, sino que vive en otro pueblo y vive, vive en Ibarreta, porque estudia ah. en Ibarreta. Ah, estudia okay. en Ibarreta, se está por the recibir. Barber, the, barber, the barber that got your hair um, lives in Ibarreta because he's studying in Ibarreta. But um, he's also Juega en Luis like, Cristaldo. Yes, plays for Luis, Luis Cristaldo, one of the teams. The basic And swap he, team. Oh, he plays for Basic Swap. Okay. Yes, plays for the Basic Swap team, and um, and that's one of the things that on he wants to show on the on the show on the on the on the live no show. All they have the their um, their experiences told because people like him they are really trying to expand the network of of um, of businesses accepting Monero, you know, outside of Ibarreta as well. Eh, guys, we, we, got little, we got business listings popping up all over the place, guys. This is a good, good sign. Let me, let me, uh, before I, before I forget a thought though. So during Monerotopia, obviously we're going to stream the the finals. Para el Do, programa, does Alessandro look. potentially on his end want to show the conference somewhere? Um, I don't know, maybe even in the stadium, like a projector or something, so that people in the town can come. Come watch for free, especially the Spanish talks. Maybe like a schedule known of when all the Spanish talks are going to be, and they can come and watch the Spanish. You know, people from the community can come and watch the Spanish talks of Monero Topia Live. Just a, just an idea. Lo que lo que está diciendo Tedal es que ya que va a coincidir el, la final con Monero Topia, si en los días anteriores o el mismo día, pero antes eh, se podía organizar quizás un lugar donde la gente en Ibarreta pueda ver eh, Monerotopia en vivo, eh, obviamente gratis, ¿no? O sea, eh, sí, las eh, charlas y lo que sea, o sea, tener como la comunicación para el otro lado también, básicamente. Eh, sí, sobre todo eh, porque algunas charlas van a estar en español. Va a estar eh, Ernesto, Ernesto, no, va a estar. Ernesto. Va a estar. Uh -huh. y, sí, y bueno, hablando de eso, ya pasando para la final, antes que nada, seguramente vamos a cerrar el, el Copa Monero Night Show comiendo unas pizzas pagadas en Monero con el, uno de los piseros de Duke o con uno de los chicos que venden comida rápida que aceptan Monero. Um, they're gonna Así wrap que... up the show, the late night show, probably eating pizza that you know, uh, that, the same pizza that you eat. Por eso, por eso es importante, por eso es importante. Pay with Monero, of course. Yes. Mm -hmm. de, respecto a la final, teniendo en cuenta eso, lo que dijo Duke, y que tendremos un fan fest en el Monero Topia Conference el 17 de noviembre, mm -hmm. eh, vamos a tratarle de darle la mejor experiencia en la final porque vamos a tener muchas cosas en la final para mostrar. Por empezar, seguramente, Escuelita Bitcoin o, o vos, Andrés, van a estar llevando esto y se irán repartiendo por todos lados todos estos stickers de Copa Monero para regalarle al público allí en la conferencia. Uh -huh. Eso por un lado. They're going to try to make the best experience possible for people watching the finals in, at Monerotopia. Uh, He's like um, either me or uh, Escuelita or, or Ernesto are gonna bring um, a lot of Monero um, Copa Monero stickers for for attendees to the final match over there. Um, they're gonna present. Uh, Va a ser muy... A lot of content. What, what is he like? I said, what is he, what does he think of like setting up a screen somewhere with a speaker where people can gather around to watch the the Spanish talks from the Monero conference. Monero Vas a tener que contestar. Te está, te está preguntando qué te parece la idea de poner una pantalla en un lado con parlantes 
para que la gente en Ibarreta vea la monerotopia? Los primeros dos días, sí, de una. No hay problema. For sure. Lo hacemos, lo hacemos. No, Tenemos fantastic, lugar. fantastic. I eh, mean, if you could do it in a way where they have a mic, they could even participate in the Q&A remotely if they wanted to. Um, uh -huh. No, incluso si se te ocurre a una manera que, que puedan tener un micrófono o algo así, hasta podrían hacer preguntas remotas desde ahí hacia los que, speakers. Porque todas las charlas tienen un momento de preguntas, así que si okay. quieren armar eso, tenlo en cuenta. Y eh, ok, eso por un lado. Segundo. It's even more. Even more se, stuff. Yo estoy esperando que ese día, con el, la cantidad de público en el FanFest, estén todos apostando en Sigmanero, en la gran final, esté el equipo que esté, se esté apostando de manera peer-to-peer -peer el Monero a gran escala. Que Sigmanero tenga un alto uso esa, ese día en la final. He's en vivo for todos. A big uptake in Sigmanero usage on the finals inside peer-to-peer. -peer. Así que. Espero que el internet funcione bien allá en, en Ciudad Ro, en Roma Verde. En... <laughs> I hope that the internet connection works very well on Puerto Roma Verde because people at Monerotopia are going to be betting a lot on Sigmanero in the finals. <laughs> bueno, I hope para... so, I hope so. We'll, we'll, we'll be running Starlinks on our end as well, so yeah. we're all para... relying on Elon. Please bet, please bet responsibly. Yes. Sí, vamos a hacer el disclaimer. Eh, apueste con responsabilidad. No y voy a mostrar un pequeño adelanto. Only for, only for grown ups. Yeah. Sí. Vamos a mostrar un pequeño adelanto de lo que van a ver en la, en la presentación de la final antes de que comience el, el partido, obviamente. ¿Podemos, ¿Puedo mostrarlo? Lo que van a ver en el. En el Fan Fest, allí en Monerotopia, van a ver esto. ¿Tienes un video ahora si para lo... mostrar? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yes. Eh, no, es un, un, un adelanto, un pequeño adelanto. Un pequeño adelanto, si lo pueden mostrar ahí. Ya tengo la pantalla compartida. I do want to mention the Kuno. Let me mention the Kuno real, real quick before you bring it. So, obviously, our goal was 90 Monero. We're at 33. I think 15 of that came from, from me already. For like 10 from, we had originally put from um, our, our budget, and I put another five. Uh, so guys, please, please donate if you can. This is all going towards helping. There's a lot of expenses that came with Copa Monero and 90 XMR at the end of the day for all this isn't that much. And a third of everything raised. Uh, if, if, we, if, we hit the, if we hit the 90 XMR goal, then the prize will be 40 Monero for the winning team. So really want to try to hit that goal so we can give the winning team 40 XMR. That would be a significant, significant prize. So please, please donate to the Kono. Um, and it's all going directly towards helping Copa, helping with the budget. Right now, we're just funding, funding it from our Monerotopia conference budget. So it's hard enough in the first place to kind of break even with, with the conference. We're, doing, we're, we're okay, but with Copa Monero, It kind of brings us back down, brings us back down to break even. So we're hoping that people can chip in to the Copa Monero itself. Let's hit the 90 XMR number, and that will give us a 40 XMR prize for the winning team, which is that's a nice, that's a nice little Monero prize for the winning team. If we could hit that 90 XMR, they'll get 40 XMR, and the rest of that will go just towards the budget. So I just want to get, get the word out there on that once again. But go ahead, Alessandro. Yo lo invito a la gente a que siga donando, que aumente el premio, para quedar en la historia, para que el, este primer evento que probablemente se haga el próximo año, tal vez en otro país, en México, Colombia, con un nuevo Alessandro que salga a otro país y, y se anime a realizarlo, o por qué no en Estados Unidos también, que aumentar lo que sea lo máximo, que sea lo histórico, lo máximo que se pueda, y seguramente esto irá aumentando este uno para para el premio de Copa Monero para el, para el ganador, así que esperamos que sigan donando y que van a empezar a ver más fuerte en la semifinal, en el Copa Monero Night Show y en la final obviamente todo lo que venimos realizando y lo que se viene haciendo escondida que es la, la adopción real de todos los chicos que, chicos que hace un año no conocían de cripto y hoy están vendiendo su servicio de diseño de logo en Monero en XM Rebasar eh, 
chicos que trabajan en, en edición de videos, que están vendiendo sus servicios, trabajan para youtubers y le pagan en cripto. Eh, y así, eso es algo loco que no hace un año era hasta, hasta impensado. Así que no sé si lo pueden compartir en lo que yo tengo en pantalla, Sunita, Duke. Andrés. What's he saying? What's he saying, Andrés? Is Andrés frozen? Oh, no, I think he's frozen. Andrés. I think he's frozen. Andres, bro. <laughs> Shit, I don't know what you said, bro. <laughs> ¿Qué, ¿Qué pasó con el internet? Alessandro, do, do you eh, want to show something? Eh, eh, ah, ah, ok. A ver. Ok. Ok. And the, eh, the show eh, before the final, the, the game, and the, and the dancing typical cultural eh, oh in, in Argentina. Esto es algo de lo que se va a observar en la final de, de final de Copa Monero Game. Eh, eh, the, the show. The show in, in event the final. Yes. Okay. This is um, going to be part of the, the show for the finals. They're going to have surprise, surprise, traditional, surprise. traditional dancing. That's amazing that like the amount of effort that's going into this thing is just is just incredible. I would uh, I don't know if you're gonna understand me. Uh, like, cuántas personas uh, will attend uh, Copa Monero finals? Uh, in 900. Uh, wow, that's amazing. That's incredible, guys. That's that's. Well, the, I hope I hope everybody's. There. I feel like Copa Monero. There's a lot of underappreciated things in Monero, right? A lot of a lot of things the, that are flying under the radar. The Stano, like Copa, Copa Monero, man, Stano, is uh, tremendous. Sano versus, versus K. Go ahead. Sano, Sano versus Sano versus K Wallet is uh, the the public in six uh, six hundred. Wow, so the, the Zano versus Cake game had 600 people. Yes. Yeah, so the, the finals, the finals will I should probably, yeah, that's, oh, wow. So we might be approaching a thousand, a thousand attendees for the finals of the, and plus we'll have, we'll be showing the conference. Andres, I don't know if you heard, but he's saying he's, they're expecting 900 people for the finals, which is nice. That's freaking awesome. That is amazing. Está diciendo que en el partido de Huracán Sano hubo 600. That, like all, all 900 of those people, guys, are going to leave knowing what Monero is. They're going to be immersed in Monero in one way or the other. There's going to be the Monero accepting concession stand. They're going to be asking, what is this? They're winning this Monero prize. What is Monero? Like everybody there is going to learn about it. We're going to have the Monero Topia conference, the Spanish talks streaming there. They could go watch a talk. Um, on Alessandro, I know you said you're going to be giving out like stickers and stuff. Maybe we could give out some kind of material, like pamphlet, where they can learn about what Monero is. I know Andres, you were going to put something together. We had the English one. You were going to try to tra translate that into Spanish. We have a nice little simple pamphlet that it's explains Monero done. and exp and it's already done. Yeah, maybe we could print those up if you want to express that to Alessandro real quick. That we could print it's those right up. And Yeah, and they could hand that out to all the attendees. No, que aparte de que para la gente que esté ahí en Ibarreta mirando, mirando Monerotopia, que te va a mandar eh, ahí, ahí para imprimir folletos y panfletos en español explicando Monero sencillo para las personas, como una bienvenida. Okay. Para que ok, uh -huh. ok, me parece. Eh, hay gente que me escribió que quiere venir a ver la final, así que del mundo cripto, así que. Okay, there are some people from the crypto spheres, crypto world, that that has expressed some interest in attending the final match. Um, allá en Ibarreta. Acá en Ibarreta, sí, para el partido. Ir en persona, attending, sí. Going to Ibarreta to attend the final. Who, who are these eh, people? Eh, de, del mundo nombres, de la que conocí. En, eh, sí. Eh, es más, uh -huh. hay uno de, de la comunidad Monero que está muy interesado en venir. No sé si puedo decirlo. There is someone from venir. the Monero community that is very interested in attending. I don't know 
She, uh, he Ian. doesn't know if he can say. Eh? I, Ian Nicolescu. Ian Nicolescu. It's very interesting. Mm, I don't know who that is. Do you know who that is? Someone Él estaba interesado en venir para estas fechas, para la final de Copa Monero. Es más, mm -hmm. le ofrecí si quería entregar las medallas incluso, ya que tener una, un miembro de la comunidad sería, yeah. sería espectacular. Eh, lo invité, eh, sí, a, a Lautaro Ferreiro, que, que lo conocía en la blockchain Zoom y la Tama allí en Colombia. Eh, no sé si lo conocerás. Es, ¿Es de Colombia? Eh, no, 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 es de Argentina, es de Argentina. Oh. También a, a Manu Ferrari lo invité y me dijo que, que está interesado si la fecha le cierra, que puede venir a... que quería venir, sí, en realidad. Pero Local sí, Crypto, si le dan los tiempos. Argentina, that are well known, uh, has shown some interest in attending the final match. Going to Ibarre, Good, they the final match. should. I mean, they, they, you know, this should... As I was just trying to say before, it's like one of the most underrated things happening, I think, in all of crypto. We have we have a football tournament happening in a town that's organically adopting cryptocurrency. I don't know if you translated that before, but when what he was saying when I got offline, because I am the only one not having Starlink, it seems so, um, is <laughs> that he hopes that um, everything that they are doing Uh, with, Mon with the Copa Monero and all that this time um, that people donate to the price the, the price is very important for, for the teams um, and also he hopes to make like a kind of a record um, record um, price for this for this edition of the tournament and he's hoping that next year, because this is not going to stop, that next year probably we have in Copa Monero, maybe even in another country, maybe in Mexico, maybe in Colombia, maybe in somewhere else, maybe even in the US. And some other Alessandro, that's what he said, like some other Alessandro is going to pick up this torch and, 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 and keep spreading the war. So let's show that it makes sense, basically, and uh, their price is to win and uh, that the engagement is real um, with, with real people <laughs> that are not only in the crypto community, so, you know. Um, exactly. Yeah, 100%. This is, it's it's up to us now, right? Al Alessandro has been out there trying to trying to start start the engine, kickstart it. He's been putting his all into this. The engine is now turned and running. It's up to us to put fuel put fuel in the tank. Put fuel in the tank. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't just completely rely on Alessandro. What he did here is amazing. He's he's completely been verified he's completely earned you know he, he did, has all the trust in the world uh I, i give to this guy i've been working with him on this he's in this for all the right reasons he's doing he's he's going above and beyond and in terms of what he's getting out of it in value doesn't clearly match in terms of what he's putting in into it he's doing this from from his heart He's investing a lot of time and energy into it. And this is because he believes in the principles of what he's doing. He thinks it's going to help his community. He wants to grow Monero usage. But we need to now, as a, as a global community, give, give him some support so we can keep this going. He can get across the finish line. It will be a major success. And then, like you're saying, hopefully then in, in years coming, when people see how successful the first one was, we can continue to grow this. We were talking about this with body. I mean, this could scale up pretty large, right? It's football. Uh, it's football's, I think, probably arguably the most popular mm -hmm. sport in the world with the most fans. So this can translate. This is something that we can bring in other places. Even if we stay down in South America for the next 10 years, I mean, it could grow tremendous, right? There's so many. We go to Brazil. We can continue in Argentina in different areas. Uh, and with it, you we know, can bring bring Monero locally to people through a medium that they're already entertained by and, and, and interested in. Do you know where the Argentina soccer team, like the soccer? Football is football. The Argentina <laughs> Football, like national like national team has the most support outside of Argentina itself. Of oh, where it's from, where that support's coming from, you're no, saying? No, where they have like most amount of fans outside of Argentina. The Argentina soccer. I would say you. I don't know. U.S. I mean... No, Bangladesh. 
Bangladesh. Uh, okay. A country with, with quite a few people. Every time Argentina, the Argentina soccer um, really? That's team interesting. plays, you get okay. like flags. Bangladesh, millions, millions of people in the street wearing Argentina flags in Bangladesh. They love why, it. Why, why, did, why did they love uh, Argentina? What's the connection there? I really don't Celebraron know. Celebraron el Mundial más que nosotros. Yes, they, 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 the World Cup that we won, they were like parading on the streets and you you can look 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 for videos or, or pictures it's gonna be like amazing Andrés, ¿Vos sabés, Alessandro, por qué es que empezó la, la, la historia con Bangladesh? Que empezó una... eh, no, vos sabés que no me acuerdo pero sí, sí histórico, lo había visto pero, sí sí, sí de, de, pero de, no, es increíble reasons I, that up to this moment, up to this time it's like, I, I even think that sometime like the past two years or something uh, for a while they tried to ban uh, argentinian flags because people have more argentinian flags than than, than bangladesh y creo que el fanatismo más por messi ahora últimamente yeah. hizo que <laughs> <Very> se levara <laughs> Ah, Messi, no. with Messi got even worse. But so... no, lo, no lo conté porque no lo subí. Eh, de camino a Colombia, yo fui por Chile, por Santiago de Chile, y me lo encontré a Juan Ferquindero. ¿Vos lo conocés, Andrés, que no? No. Juan Ferquindero es el jugador de River, un colombiano, que le metió el gol a Boca en Madrid en la famosa, en la mítica final. Ah, ok. When he was go, coming back from Colombia. De máximo, uno de los máximos ídolos de River. He has a stopover in, um, in Santiago de Chile. And he he met a, a very well known like football player from here. Jugador de la selección de Colombia, incluso. Yeah. He played. Estuvo he played en la Copa América. The, the Colombian sele- official team. Me saqué una foto, le conté de Copa Monero so, y le regalé como 10 stickers. Okay, he took a photo with him and told him about Copa Monero, gave him. Oh, he did. La- yes. Juan Fernando wow. Quintero, busque Juan Fernando Juan Quintero. Quintero. Is the name of the player. He played El número 10, el mejor jugador de Colombia. All, no takes play, one, the best all it takes is like one of those guys to start tweeting yes, about, you know, he's the best player of the Colombian national team. Para acá uh, tengo, a ver si that's puedo awesome. Mostrarla. Para acá, acá tengo la foto. Eh. Let, me, let me ask you, is there anything else? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. We noticed that I look like Luke Smith, but I would say this that is very Luke funny. Smith, Luke Smith look, looks like me. Oh, Luke looks like you, not the other way around. Yeah. Huh? But we cross each other. At, I don't know. I don't remember if it was Monero Con or Monero Topia. Monero Topia. Monero Topia. Yeah. Monero Topia. We cross each other, and someone, someone mentioned it, and I had my doppelganger moment, like, the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Andrés, no sé si, no sé si, bueno, vos justo se te quedó el internet, se te cortó, pero estuve mostrando un adelanto de lo que se va a ver en la final previo al partido, una presentación de, como viste, de pre- presentación de la Copa antes que hay un evento uh-huh. artístico sí. donde se va a mostrar un resumen de todo tipo Shakira, sí, pero no Shakira <risa> sino uh-huh. un resumen de la cultura, de toda la cultura local del norte argentino chamamé, folclore, danza, de cómo y de Ibarreta, de que acá lo más, Ibarreta, no sé si vos sabías una de las sedes más importantes a nivel carnaval de Argentina Debe ser top 5 de los más carnavalescos, porque acá tenemos estilo brasilero, carioca, los carnavales. Okay. ¿viste? Eso va a, va a Entonces, ser todo antes de la final. O sea, el, el, un el, show el... de 6 minutos, yeah. un show de 6, 7 minutos mostrando folclore, chamamé, carnavales. They're going to have before the final on that, that very day, like 6, 7, 7 minutes before the actual match, they're going to have like a show, um, the pre-match show, uh, not with Shakira. Um, but <laughs> with the uh, local, with local uh, dancing, um, uh, all the specialties of the north, uh, Argent- the north of Argentina, and also um, telling me he was telling me that Ibarreta is uh, one of the most important places in Argentina for the carnivals that we have in February. Remember that the seasons work the other way around for uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> below the equator. Um, so. Uh, and, and they have like a very well-known carnival because it's kind of like a mix with the Brazilian style of carnival, mm-hmm. um, because of the place that they are. So, so it's 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 very pretty. So you, that if you nice. tune in, you will be able to show to to watch that as well. 
that's amazing that that's that they're organizing that how, how did that even come to be is how does he getting these dancers involved and whatnot ¿Cómo salió la organización de eso? ¿De cómo conseguiste a los, a los bailarines y eso para la...? Eh, es, una, es una peña, es una peña donde ellos preparan durante todo el año una, una coreo para, para mostrarlo en un solo día, que es el aniversario del pueblo. El aniversario del pueblo, como viste en Argentina, acá se celebra oh. todos los pueblos. Y como se lo preparan tanto y después no tienen dónde mostrarlo, eh, quiero que ellos estén en Copa Monero, que lo vea el, el exterior, el mundo, gente de todos lados, y más en el no, fanfest, ahí en Monero Topia. Eh, academia, it's a, academia, academia, academia. It's, it's a local, it's a local costume that um, that they have that uh, that group of dancers prepare for the entire year with a choreography, special choreography and a special song for the town's uh, anniversary um, parade, right? So since they prepare Parlo all year Parlo. long with cast with the customs and all that um, for that only 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 time they, they are very happy to have Ahí another extra <laughs> another extra opportunity to show what they've been preparing for this year so that's that's where the organization for the dancers side Beautiful. comes from they, the, they are the yeah, local they, they, they train all year for that that the party the festivities when they they have the um, the town's anniversary amazing amazing yeah. And they're they're going to be learning about Monero too. Yep. Um, is any any well, oh, a, a thought before I forget? Is there anything that that he thinks or uh, Andres that you think that we should do to maybe try to capitalize on this before it ends with the finals to help get the word out in Argentina? To, so so there's more eyes on it. Bring some publicity. I don't know. Try to get a local news. I know. I know. I think uh, Alessandro was a little apprehensive about doing things like that, but discuss that i mean is there anything are, are we should we be promoting this more locally i mean I, i think this is something that people should have their eyes on i know he said that some local crypto people are mm -hmm. may, may attend but do we want to do anything else to maybe get some eyes on this locally I, eh, lo que te estaba preguntando es eh, si se te ocurre que hay algo más que ellos puedan hacer o que vos puedas hacer o que alguien pueda hacer eh, al respecto de conseguir más más personas viendo la final, eh, más exposición para, el, para la Copa Monero, para locales básicamente, pero en Argentina, en Latinoamérica. Eh, sí, creo Dijo, que... Mencioné eh, un momento que vos estabas un poco reticente de, de usar medios locales, como de tratar de aparecer en medios locales, porque a lo mejor la atención no era la que, la que querías. Eh, pero nada, te preguntas si tienes alguna idea extra o algo que quieras con, contar a la gente de que vendría bien hacer para conseguir que más gente se enterara de la Copa Monero eh, Necesitamos más eh, interacción en, en lo que es Twitter Twitter Instagram si bien esta... If people want to help they need to interact more with the, with the, with the Twitter account with the, with en Instagram account, with the socials, the socials of the Copa itself en Instagram mucho okay. lo ven los ibarreteños. But I'm saying, should we, should we try to get like local, like local media looking at this, like uh, you know the, the newspaper from Formosa City writing about it. I mean, um, iremos a Formosa a presentar la copa también, eh. La Formosa capital. capital. Yes, to Formosa City, the capital city. Ahí en la frontera donde estuvo, donde estuvimos comiendo con Du, llevaremos la copa y estaremos haciendo una transmisión también en Instagram. They're gonna, they're gonna introduce, they're gonna present the, the Copa itself, the, the cup itself uh, at the capital city as well. Um, oh, at the capital city, yeah? Yes, and they're gonna really? broadcast. Estuvimos comiendo, decirle, estuvimos almorzando. You were eating, you were having lunch over there. De yes. frontera con Paraguay ahí. On the frontier against Paraguay. Yes. It's like a two hour drive from, from the town. So they're going to bring yeah. it there and have a, that's, that's amazing. Okay. Basically Fantastic. the biggest, he says that he says that the, the biggest socials, uh, uh, for them, for locals uh, is his Instagram. I mean, Instagram is okay. way more used here. Instagram Más que nada porque lo ven gente. Than, than, than oh, tell, tell him maybe we want to do some Instagram ads. I could, you know, we could put a little budget towards that if he wants to run some ads locally that are Dice just geared si querés, towards puede, Formosa puede to let people unos... know about the finals. Uh -huh. Vale. Dice, ¿Sí? dice Dad que si querés pueden arreglar para conseguir algunos fondos para hacer eh, algunas eh, 
usar ads de Instagram para los locales. Eh, hacer publicidad en Instagram para conseguir más exposición. Ok. Localmente. Okay. No, esta, eh, yo, la idea es mía transmitir una, hacer un envío presentando la copa en Formosa con un influencer de allá de Capital. Bueno, yo lo conocía a Mauro Albarracín, que no. Eh, yo no conozco a nadie, Alessandro. Seguís diciendo no. nombres, vivo en, adentro de un tupper. Pero loco, este, este muestra todo lo que es el conurbano. Un día está en Francia, otro día en La Ferrer, otro día está... O sea, es con Lesa, se llama Lesa, boludo, muestra toda la realidad. Bueno, ah, Lesa. Formosa. Y bueno, Lesa, él es Mauro Albarracín. Y yo qué sé el nombre de Lesa, ok. Dale. <risa> bueno, él estuvo, él estuvo en Formosa y uh -huh. estuvo exponiendo sí, a unos... Good. Good. Estuvo sí. en, con unos influencers de Formosa. Bueno, con esos influencers de Formosa de Capital quiero, quiero hacer una presentación que son conocidos míos contándoles... Van bueno, a hacer la presentación okay. juntos, ¿viste? Allá en Formosa. Ok, ok. La ok. Uh, one thing that he, he, he's uh, arranging that is, I think, is quite in, interesting for local exposure is that the presentation that they're going to do about the, of the, co the, the coup um, at the Capital City, the broadcast they're going to do for, uh, from there, they're going to have the participation of one or two influencers from de Formosa. De Formosa. Oh, they're quite famous, especially at least one of them that I know of. They have like big numbers. Um, really? So if he, if he managed to pull that off, I think that the exposure local wise, um, one of them is Lesa. Maybe someone knows them from YouTube. En Formosa hace poco, el video, eh? They're oh, from okay, the okay. Formosa region? No, no, they're not from Formosa, as far as I know, but but they 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 um, they they've been in Formosa recently, mm -hmm. um, and he showed them the video, and they're interested. So, amazing. Your fingers, but if he gets right. those those participants in the in the broadcast, that could be that could mean big numbers for locals. Yes, amazing. For Argentina. amazing, it's, a, it's an Argentinian wide. I don't know. Let me let me check. I can I can tell you now live if it's that guy. We got to get these pamphlets printed. Um, I, I we got yes, some I'm super chats here. Libertad tipped four dollars and ninety seven cents. Thank you, Andres, for the translation one of those, skills. Just for you to have I'll, to have an idea, one of those guys mm -hmm. has seven hundred thousand followers in YouTube. Holy shit! Local influencer. Right. Me quedo sin batería. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll need crowd low control. Battery, this this battery. may be one of those instances where too many people no. show up to an event. <laughs> no. His videos have, have around 100k, 100,000 views. But that's that's the range of influencer that we're talking about. Yeah, maybe, well all right, yeah. Here. maybe so we could well even, you know, give him something to, to promote, you know, in exchange. Well, Libertad yeah. tipped... Four dollars and nine cents. Says thanking Andres for his translation skills and and all the energy he oh, puts into the Oh, Olympia Libertad, Libertad fan. Thank you, thank you for the skills. <laughs> thank fun. you, thank you. Yes. I also want to bring up Alaska Anon's tip of three dollars twenty eight cents. We have a long time horizon to be patient over, but Alaska Anon is no quitter. There absolutely will be a Monero ranch in Iberete. We have been working on this, guys, uh, behind the scenes. Honestly, I don't know what the latest is. If if uh, we run into some uh, some roadblocks, but I'm sure Alaska can tell us more of where we're currently at. It will become the vacation and retirement destination of Monero chats from all over the world. And by the way, metric system is gay. Um, all right. Yeah, Alaska, will have you up later, I'm sure. If you're around, you can tell us the latest of what's going on with the potential Monero ranch in Iberete. Hmm. Yeah, the other 98% of the world is gay. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah. Last <laughs> canon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, best, guys. It's the best metric system. Okay. For the sake of uh moving things along, um, I think we I think we should move on here with the show. Yep. Uh, very excited. So, guys, next next week will be the semifinals. We will obviously air it live on the Monero Talk YouTube channel on X and every and everything. Um, actually, no. Does it stream live? No, it streams live on on YouTube. Unless we figure out how to use Streamyard, and then it'll be live on X as well. Please, please spread the word, and please consider donating to this Kuno. It goes a long way in helping us grow Monero adoption through the Copa Monero project. So, 
greatly appreciate anybody that that has and continues to provide funds for that for all the things that we've been talking about today uh andres man thank you so much for for jumping on translating andres you want to say anything about the um minerotopia spanish portion of the conference before we uh close it out any anything you could share with that no just paint the picture <laughs> okay <laughs> all right all right at least he's no, honest no, no. I don't know how much uh, have you have you said before, but we are we are making arrangements with with Ernesto, with Escuelita Bitcoin. Um, at least uh, the two of us were gonna be giving talks. He's gonna be even doing workshops uh, there. Um, I will be helping with um, and of course anyone that is listening and wants to, maybe I should say it in Spanish, but any, anyone that is listening and is gonna attend uh, Monerotopia, please just reach out uh, to me i'm gonna be there providing support for monerujo usage monerujo no monero monero usage and, uh, and, uh, and um, on all the stalls and all the little shops and vendors so every, everything is running smoothly so if you don't this doesn't make any sense because i'm speaking in english but for people that don't understand english and they don't <laughs> they need support <laughs> they need support uh, in the uh, on the ground um, with Monero, uh, reach out to me. I will be there uh, all day long, uh, as well as Escuelita. He's making some. I don't know if he, I say, but he's uh, doing some workshops for with kids as well, which is I I, I will have to say his specialty, and <laughs> he has very awesome a, a lot of practice with with kids in Uruguay, in Paraguay, and also in Argentina. He's been in Ibarreta as well. He's in Logan with the with the local people, even with the um, with the indigenous group in Ibarreta, teaching them Bitcoin. No and and eh, we, we should try to get another Spanish speaker too, right? We're we're trying to do that. Trying yes, to get, yes, yes, yes. Uh, we're gonna have okay. more, more. We have more, more. Yeah, Andres, four more, four more speakers. Uh, some of them are about to uh, still pending. I don't want to say the names because they haven't confirmed. Uh, okay. Um, some locals and some from abroad. But, but yes, we are we are organizing and we have the schedule and to see what are the actual uh, dates and times for for the for the talks. But but yeah, uh, it's coming along. I mean, part of the whole Monerotopia experience is also since you are in Mexico to have Mexicans there or to have things that everybody can understand. So it doesn't look, it doesn't feel like a, like a American embassy somehow in Puerto <laughs> Roma. <laughs> Not even feel, right? We want to be as productive yeah. as possible. We want to yeah. get as many people as possible to learn about Monero. So to be yeah. sitting in one of the most populated cities in the world and not be putting out information sure. in their native languages. For sure. Would be, would be a if silly you're listening thing. To this, and if you're listening to this and you live in Mexico, please reach out. Reach out, reach out to me or to Escuelita. My my alias everywhere is the same as here. It's, it's, Andres. it's Andres with an H in, in between. So reach uh, out uh, if you want to attend, if you have some ideas of a, a special speaker that maybe is from, from Mexico City and we don't know about, about uh, all the, th the themes that, that Monerotopia covers, their economics, uh, libertarianism, freedom, uh, technology in general, and of course, Monero and cryptocurrency. Uh, please reach out to us or to Doug and uh, we will get in contact with you. But also if you have some local community that you think could benefit from attending the conference itself uh, or local school, uh, we can get you in touch with Ernesto. So we have maybe more than two classes uh, for, for the kids as well. Uh, it's amazing. If, you, if you've never seen, um, sadly, most of the content that he 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 puts out is in it's in Spanish, but if you if you could could understand the classes and the feedback he gets from kids about the history of money and how how a mission works and how decentralization and who gets the permission to use your money or not, it's, he's very talented uh, doing that and it's quite a pleasure to see him working. Yeah, and I mean that translates beyond just kids, right? Anybody who's never thought about these ideas before at all, it, it's yeah. like the perfect one hundred and one, right? Teach it to yeah, me, yeah, like yeah. I'm five. Yeah. Andrés. Yes. Qué, okay. Alessandro. Eh, están cerrando. Me escribió, Dale. Me, sí, están me levantando escribió, las sillas arriba de las sí, mesas en el bar. Dale. Ya está cerrando. Me escribió un chico que eh, tiene una carbonería que hablaba con Du. ¿Qué le quiere mandar un un regalo, una bolsita de carbón vegetal producido por él? en okay. su campo a, a Duke. Así que probablemente se lo mande con Ernesto 
Ah, pero no le iba a mandar el carbón, quería el carbón, carbón mandarle el carbón. <risa> carbón formoseño. Así que okay, seguramente le van guy, a mandar. There is one guy that you met here that's, that makes coal. You know, coal. No sé, sí, sí, sí. Um, carbón he... para asado, para, ¿Sí? para hacer la carne. For, for the barbecue, <risa> yeah, for the asado. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, maybe you know who he's talking about. And he wants to send some coal as a present for you, Doug. So maybe I, I, I'm gonna... totally down for that. How much is the shipping, though? Wait, the... coal? I don't know. No, <laughs> Charcoal. Carbon, for the barbecue. Maybe more than the coal, <laughs> probably. Um, but no, I, I, I think they are making arrangements with Ernesto. So they bring the coal to you in Mexico. Really? So I don't know All right. I don't know how happen, I'm going to bring but... that back. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Well, maybe maybe we could use it there at Monerotopia for the barbecue <laughs> itself. Because I don't know if we're traveling that. home with that. Probably. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to love that from one. Formosa to... It's the... It's the... <laughs> The well, it's part of the. Well, we visitar. did. We did say you can buy your Christmas presents at the at the market. So for those who are naughty and not nice, you can you can bring them home. Some some coal will be available que, que <laughs> for sale in Venerotopia. <laughs> what is this? I, I, I can imagine already TCA TSA. What is this? No, you don't understand. Let me tell you the story. This some guy. <laughs> Do you have an hour? No yes. flammable materials. Yes. Así que hay un, po un poco de carbón allí para a, bit, a little bit of coal for you. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna reach you. Even if it's just symbolic. <laughs> just like that. Ah, sí, if they claro, can figure out yes. how to ship it to, to yes. the US, I'm down. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, I, creo que puede hacer una I hope it doesn't get to, I don't know, how to heat the coal on some body horrifices of people. But yes, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> It will, it will turn into a diamond. Yes, time it arrives. It's a diamond in the rough. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> in potential. They're gonna find a way to tax oh that my for sure. God. Yes. All right, um, guys, let, let, we got we got to move on. We got to move on. Um, Alessandro, is anything else he wants to say? Anything other than that? Don't say we... that. Don't say okay. that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna we're, we're gonna end it. We're gonna end it here.